hello everyone welcome to the today's session of do's and don'ts of hypothyroidism i welcome you to this session brought to you by apollo cradle to speak on this topic today i would like to welcome dr anshu raina uh, she is a senior in house consultant she is an obstetrician gynecology and also a laparoscopic surgeon associated with greater noida center here uh we welcome you doctor and we are looking forward to hear from you on the today's session of you know do's and don'ts of hypothyroidism which is actually seen in many cases and we normally don't know what to do in that so we are looking forward to hear from you thank you ma'am i'm there thank you aarti for a kind introduction so today i'm going to start uh, on a discussion because today i chose this topic because this is the one of a thing which is one of a problem which is very very common nowadays and especially in in a reason of ncr so uh, where we uh, i'm practicing so uh, but uh, overall the incidence is very high and what are the usually in all the patients mind it, it used to go what are the things to be done and what should be avoided and how why it's happening and the most important thing is to continuation of medicine is really required once the thyroid is under control so for uh, for all these things today i'm going to discuss so first of all i just wanted to give you a little bit of idea about what is a thyroid uh, uh, hormones and from where it used to get secreted and what is the purpose of this hormone inside the body so basically in uh, every uh, human being there is a one gland called thyroid gland which is which is a butterfly shaped gland is is just in uh, lying in a neck of of human being and it it's uh, called, the function is to basically regulate regulate your hormonal system and it's indirectly uh, uh, related uh, connected with your all the hormonal system that's why once the if the thyroid is disturbed your gradually the all the system used to involve and you started having problem one by one it depends upon ki how much is the disturbance is there in a body so uh, before uh, going in the further details i just wanted to say how it used to get regulated basically as i said the gland is lying inside the neck uh, in in neck and it used to control from the pituitary which is inside the brain so that re regulating hormone control and it secretes the thyroid stimulating hormone and then it this hormone used to act all over the body and it gives a command to the all of your systems so now you can understand the how important it is that's why once it used to get disturbed because of any reason then you started having problem from a different system it involves different system your reproductive system your uh, that metabolism so and all the systems and accordingly used to have a symptoms and this is the basic thing how it used to get uh, in affect you now uh, i'm going to tell you what are the factors why it's happening why it's happening uh, why the somebody is the thyroid gland used to get disturbed and uh, what what are the reason behind that so sometimes it's a autoimmune because of any reason not without any reason your that thyroid regulating system used to get disturbed and your thyroid stimulating hormone which is responsible is not forming in a proper way and then it used to get the the command which is which is in the thyroid stimulating hormone which is responsible for the other hormone control is not well controlled and then it used to get the cycle started disturbing so uh, one of the factor as i said is autoimmune other is the definitely the because of the thyroiditis if this is because of any reasons your thyroid gland is inflamed that can be or again is a Uh, that genetic it can be genetic in cat with the environmental factor but nowadays in if you will see in a few areas the women or the males are more prone for the thyroid diseases that is definitely because of the environmental factor and iodine is the one of a reason if the uh, water uh, is deficit of the that particular thing or your diet is deficit in that iodine so that can cause the thyroid problem so these are the basic things which is responsible for the 
thyroid hormone disturbances now i'm coming to the things if once the thyroid hormone is disturbed what are the thing what are the symptoms you will start it facing and uh, uh, how you will find yes i have to report to the doctor and i should get tested my thyroid things so like without any uh, without any problems if you without any excessive uh, uh, oral uh, diet excessive diet or any dietary changes if you keeps on gaining weight that is the one thing usually patient used to come so they with the irrespective of diet diet they are started gaining weight or they are feeling little low sluggish feeling lethargy weakness that uh, swelling in a body whenever they used to get up in a the morning they started feeling a swelling and the, all the cramps or aches in body one of the very peculiar symptoms in thyroid if you will get up in a morning you will find stiffness in your body and especially in the lower limbs or the ankle or heel you will feel some kind of pain or aches in a body and other things most of the time the patient used to come even after all these symptoms are ignored then patient started gaining the periods irregularity in females the period periods irregularity is one of the most common symptoms in a thyroid disease especially in the hypothyroidism so now before coming to the details of the things you should must know there is a two kind of thyroid dysfunction can happen in a body in form of hyper means excessive of thyroid hormones or hypo that means the lack of thyroid hormones so the most the second one that is lack of thyroid hormone is the most common one so that is called hypothyroidism is most common thing which is happening and the responsible factors are same as i discussed as i said so at any kind of disturbances happen the but the symptoms used to be totally different and it used to be opposite like if you are going through the hypothyroidism means lack of thyroid stimulating hormone in that that uh, your th tsh will be raised opposite like it's if you will get tested yourself for the thyroid findings you find that your thyroid stimulating hormone that is tsh which will be raised that means your body is not making this things and that uh, that thyroid stimulating hormone is acting more that's why the uh, that level is raised that means you are hypothyroidism in hypothyroidism the periods irregularity is of the one of a common common symptoms apart from the periods irregularity weight gain flu, swelling inside the body constipation mental symptoms also sometimes happens infertility you are unable to conceive because uh, cycles are not regular your cycle will be and ovulatory ovulation will be not happen so these are the few things if it will be even ignored sometimes so if you are high high low, high level of tsh the patient can go into a coma so you can understand the how the dangerous it is if it will be not diagnosed in the early phase of disease so like that if we will call about the hyperthyroidism the symptoms will be totally opposite like the patient started losing weight irrespective of your diet so they will uh, without exercise also patient used to nowadays patient used to be happy yes i'm losing weight i'm not doing anything so you should not be happy you have to get tested yourself and you get tested for the basic things like the thyroid or the sugar sometimes because of the Uh, your sugar is very high then also patient started losing weight so you should not be uh, get ignored if one day think you are gaining weight then only you have to visit a doctor to lose a weight it, it, without any reason is also a dangerous thing so you have to visit a doctor so these are the few things which is common now uh, you must know what are the things to be done or to be avoided uh, during uh, if you are uh, diagnosed with a hypothyroidism if you are once you are diagnosed with a hypothyroidism you must visit your doctor and the endocrinologist who are the main one to whom you have to visit if you are uh, living in some areas where this is spec specialized endocrinologist is not available and you should visit general physician also because they are also taking care of the things if you are first time diagnosed with the thyroid problem during your pregnancy more usually your gynec or obstetrician used to take care of your thyroid problems but that is totally a different thing because sometimes we even without your tsh is not an, uh, within a normal limit then also we used to start a treatment that is totally different uh, 
things which I will discuss later. Right now, I just wanted to emphasize once you are diagnosed with a thyroid problem, you have to visit your doctor, you have to go check. And apart from the thyroid hormones, most of the time you used to do the other part of thing also to know the what are the other hormones are uh, affected with your this TSH level and other uh, blood blood tests like your lipid profile, your hemo complete blood hemogram, hemoglobin, other things are normal or not. With the thyroid patient, we usually see their vitamin D uh, def uh, level also used to be very, very less. And because of the la lack of vitamin D, they are going through the lot and lot of symptoms and all. So these are the things which is very, very common with the hypothyroid uh, thyroid patients. Once you are diagnosed with a hypothyroid, then after investigation, your doctor started with the medicine, we, which we usually start with the levothyroxine. So these comes with the name, you uh, multiple brand name, which is coming with that. That is the main treatment of choice. And as per your thyroid TSH level, thyroid stimulating hormone level, we are deciding a dose of that particular individual patient. And after starting a medicine, usually after six weeks of starting a medicine, we used to do repeat a thyroid test and see how the level is and accordingly we used to adjust the dose either we used to decrease or increase the dose as per the thyroid stimulating hormone report so this is how we are proceeding the one thing i just wanted to emphasize at this point most of the time when we used to start the medicine and after six weeks of the medicine the thyroid level used to get controlled and the patient symptoms also used to be you better better symptomatically the things used to be uh, patients are feeling better then the first question they used to ask now if again uh, still we have to continue the medicine at this point i just wanted to say this is the one very very important message i just wanted to convey everyone once you are started with your thyroid hormone thyroid uh, diagnosed with the hypothyroidism you started with your medicine levothyroxine even if your thyroid level comes as a normal then also you have to continue your medicine uh, only the dose of the medicine will be adjusted and by your doctor and accordingly you have to take a medicine but it, it's not like once it is controlled that is controlled because with a supplement what are the thyroid th levothyroxine we are giving from outside because of that the your thyroid hormone le level is under control and the, your systems or the symptoms are getting better. But the moment we will stop this levothyroxine supplementation, again, you will go through because the, your, the formation defect is still there in a body and which is which cannot be treated when we have to supplement the things. Once the thyroid cells are damaged, that's not going to correct it by any medicine. So only thing, the how much is the damage has happened, it should not be further damaged because of the lack of a uh, levothyroxine uh, inside the body. So that's why we are supplementing the things and that supplementation used to take care in a way and sometimes even after taking a regular medicine also the gradually the dose of medicine used to increase that is because the slow process which is there inside the body with that the thyroid used to be damaged and the dose requirement of a medicine dose used to be increased so this is what happened but here i Again, I wanted to emphasize one thing, how you can prevent your increasing dose of your thyroid medicine. By doing few things in your daily lifestyle changes, you can just prevent the taking a higher dose of medicine and the, your medicine, the, even with the less dose also, then you are able to maintain your thyroid level and the further damage can be preventable. So what are the things which you can do in as a day-to-day -day life activity? Obviously, the food and your daily exercise is the most important thing as a thyroid patient. You have to do minimum 30 minutes of workout every day in any form, especially the 30 to 15 to 20 minutes of cardio is must for if you are doing in a five days a week that means 30 minutes per day cardio exercising is a very very helpful as a thyroid patient
nutrition. Apart from that, the food which should the pure fed food which should be avoided that is obviously available on meds and of the patients are following. And if you are specifically wants to take opinion, you have to visit a nutritionist. They will take and guide you what are the food to be avoided, what are the things to be taken. But you have to know the small frequent meal plus exercise is a one of a key things by which you can control your thyroid part and the, just prevent all the bad symptoms or the bad outcomes of the hypothyroid patients. So this is the small things which you can do and stop the things. <clears throat> Even after taking a medicine and doing all the exercises, if your symptoms are not controlled, that means you have to go for the details hormone testing. And in that, your doctor may ask you to go for the further uh, further investigation like MRI and all to do get tested for all the other reasons by which the thyroid can be disturbed. That is because of the <clears throat> pituitary mass or something which is causing the significant damage of the thyroid uh, thyroid gland and that thyroid gland used to damage and that causes the symptoms. So that means even after doing all the precautions, if your thyroid stimulating hormone is still high, TSH is high, you are not, you are, the, the requirement of the dose is gradually going up. So you have to get tested for the other reasons and the, your doctor will say what are the tests to be done. So these testings are important and the one of our testing is MRI brain, which is, which is really a very, very important thing if your thyroids are not under control. So now I just wanted to see, uh, emphasize uh, what if you are the, the periods irregularity is sometimes the patient used to say, say ask the I'm a th hypothyroid patient now I'm taking a medicine is it going to harmful for my baby or if I will uh, planning for my plan for my pregnancy that uh, that will be passed on to my baby. So let me tell you at this point your thyroid if you are a hypothyroid patient definitely it will be not uh, always to be transferred your baby will be not always be as a hypothyroid patient thyroid baby but definitely if you are a hypothyroid the level should be well controlled while during pregnancy that is that the specific level we have to maintain as per the trimester the first trimester we are trying to maintain a level less than 2.5 thyroid stimulating hormone and with that if the, your level is throughout maintained the adverse effect on baby used to be taken care so it will be preventable if you are in contact with your doctor you are taking your medicine regularly and sometimes if the patient is a hypothyroid patient they are planning for a pregnancy then we are asking a patient what are the things you have to do to prevent the adverse effect of these things but definitely the thyroid medicine is totally safe during pregnancy and usually in the first trimester whatever the existing dose you are taking we used to increase the dose of a medicine to control the level at a particular level uh, during a particular limit so these are the things which you have to keep in your mind but definitely it's not it's not be passed to your baby uh, if you are a hypothyroid it's not necessary your baby will be also hypothyroid so this is the one thing i just wanted to clarify second thing the most important is the if somebody is asking is it uh, important to, to take a uh, um, uh, thyroid medicine even after the delivery if we are starting like suppose most of the time the patients are not aware about the thyroid situation especially in these areas where we uh, i am practicing in ncr the patient are coming for the routine antenatal checkup routine pregnancy visit and during that time we used to uh, advise them for the thyroid hormones also to see their level is well controlled or not then we used to find this particular patient is a hypothyroid patient and she is not aware about their hypothyroid status in that situation we used to start a medicine as early as possible on a whatever the requirement of that uh, dose requirement during that time and we used to follow that patient and later on once that patient used to deliver then they used to think if that thyroid was diagnosed during pregnancy and for the pregnancy the medicine was required now there is no need to continuation of pregnancy and they used to leave their medicine on their own so at this point i just wanted to tell you if the patient is diagnosed with a hypothyroid during pregnancy so she should not discontinue even after her pregnancy if the thyroid level is under control but it was not as controlled 
as per requirement for the pregnancy, then in that particular case, we used to repeat the thy thyroid hormone at six weeks period of gestation. And then we used to see either she is really a hypothyroid patient. If the th thyroid level is very controlled after six weeks of delivery, then there is no need to start the medicine. But if her thyroid level is not controlled, even after six weeks of delivery, then we have to continue the uh, medicine even after delivery. So this is what I want to emphasize here. These are the few things which is very, very confusing. And the patient used to think like, you know, no, there's no need because it was started during pregnancy and it was the need of a baby. No, if your thyroid level is not not maintained even after the delivery six weeks of delivery then we have to start a medicine so these are the things which you have to be aware now if somebody is uh, going through the hyperthyroidism what are the symptoms they should um, go on the, what are the symptoms they will uh, feel so if the somebody is as i said they will started losing weight they will have the diary, they can have a diarrhea, they can have a palpitation, that the body temperature used to be very, very uh, like a cold and calm uh, things. Sometimes if uh, the eyes used to be like a popping kind of eyes, there they have a hair fall. So these are the symptoms which is very common in the hyperthyroid patient also. So if you are having irrespective of any problem, any kind, you anytime you are feeling like you are having palpitation, uh, like anxiety, too much of anxiety or confusion state, or you are losing weight, your hair is thinning. So you are even on top of that, you are going through the, as a female, you are going through the menstrual irritability, too much heavy flow. Uh, these are the symptoms of hyperthyroidism, means that where there is an excessive of hormone is secreting. So in that case also, we used to treat a patient. It depends upon ki how much of the um, severity is and according to her thyroid level, we used to prescribe a medicine and that patient also they have to be continue their medicine as as per a requirement sometimes the do, dose used to be adjusted but as like hyperthyroid patient as like hypothyroid it's not necessary so that patient has to continue their medicine long life so they in that situation it depends upon key for what is the reason behind their excessive hormone for things and accordingly we used to treat the patients so these are the few things which you have to know as per as a hypothyroid patients and uh, when to report a doctor what are the medicines you have to take how much the medicine should be continued in throughout your life journey and every six ideally initial days once you are diagnosed with the hypothyroid or hyperthyroid so initially we used to repeat the test after six weeks once the level is under control then ideally it should be that you should get tested yourself every three to six months interval and according to your thyroid level you know, the dose of medicine used to be adjusted so this is about uh, that um, hypothyroidism, thyroid diseases, and especially for the hypothyroidism. So now I would like to take your questions here. I can see is the hypothyroidism more dangerous than the hyperthyroidism? So here I will, uh, although once your thyroid hormone is then uh, disturbed, so both are equally uh, dangerous, I will say, if you will not go for the treatment and the medication. But if I will see for the symptoms and all, the hyperthyroidism used to be more serious because their symptoms are affecting um, more all, all on the vital organs. And it used to be the patient go through the like palpitation and all problems used to happen. And there is always a chance of having cardiac problems so the if i will compare with the hyper uh, hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism i will say hyperthyroidism used to be more dangerous so now i can see one more question what foods to take and avoid to keep the levels in control so as i said this is again a one of a chapter which can cannot be discussed in a say this small um, that things but in general, you have to, uh, if you will go on net, you will find the multiple things they will use to say that these are the things. But, but the thing is, you have to, the uh, few food, which is uh, goitrogens, uh, considered as a goitrogens, as like a cauliflower groups, cabbage, 
these things and uh, berries uh, these are the things which you have to avoid but definitely the uh, in the whole exactly what are the foods to be taken what to be avoided for that you have to visit or you have to uh, consult a nutritionist that will be the better choice so in a normal case once the levels are normal can we stop or reduce the doses as i said as i discussed and in details once your level is normal that means the dose whatever the dose you are taking so as per your the do, normal level things accordingly we used to adjust the things if it find it's um, the level is too low or it's in between um, the lower limit that means you I sometimes you used to continue on a same dose or decrease little bit of dose but you never ask a patient to stop the med medicine so this is the one important thing i just want uh, i'm telling repeatedly because most of the time we are facing once the thyroid hormone is under control the patient used to leave their medicine and then again you they used to come back with the bounce all the symptoms with the with worsening of the symptoms so that should not be happen so you have to continue your medicine but definitely the dose will be adjusted as per your thyroid level so just here just wanted to tell you uh, you have to take care of your once you are going through the any menstrual irregularity symptoms any uh, weight gain irrespective weight gain or hair fall or your the infertility problems you have to get tested yourself for the thyroid hormone this is the one thing which is important once you are once you are diagnosed with the thyroid disease especially hyper or hypothyroidism so accordingly you have to take a medicine after visiting a doctor the th third thing i just wanted to say once you started with the medicine you should not leave your medicine in between without the without consulting a doc doctor and the last which is very very important thyroid is it's not a fatal thing but if it will be taken care properly it is the thing which by which you can lead a healthy life you should not get just uh, depressed ki i am a hypothyroidism patient so i cannot leave this i cannot do that it's nothing like that only it's a because it's like a lack of something which can be fulfilled from outside and if it will be taken care properly so there is nothing harm and it's never like it's a deadly thing but of course if it will be untreated there the symptoms used to get worse and you may land up with the previous problems which is always there but you have it will be taken care you get you should it will be tested beforehand so it will be taken care well and you will be not free from all the you know, side effects and problems which is related with the hypothyroidism this is what i am trying to tell today thank you so much Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your wonderful session. Thank you, Arti.